I mean, can you play the clip in 2012 and 13 when it was at 200 and everybody was laughing at me on CNBC every time I would talk about Bitcoin? It's probably going to 100, then 150, then 200,000. Now crypto needs to be like everything else. And maybe the crypto stands get upset with that because they don't like it that, you know, a bunch of their parents are all of a sudden going to be buying tokens and stuff, but they got to get over it. Um, and this stuff should be, you know, transacted in the same way you transact anything else. You buy it, you sell it, you get a tax return, you pay your taxes and you move on. You know, people with huge amounts of Bitcoin are sophisticated enough to know how to stay anonymous if they want to. For everybody else who doesn't care because for them it's sort of an investment asset class and, an inf you know, a, a hedge, then they're not going to care either. And the point is when enough people own it, governments aren't in a position, the track record of them just waking up one day and pulling the plug on anything is zero. That's not how people do things. Um, and all of that takes money. And so, you know, I just have to be able to manage um, everything in my infrastructure to make sure that I can do all of these things. And that's what it was. Mm -hmm.